Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, guys, I hear him to make an apology. I need to make an apology. And you guys were wondering, why am I starting with an apology first of video? Should I be discussed by the match? Yes, I should. But I'm going to actually uh, make an apology because I feel like I have to. Whenever I make it, when I get a take so badly wrong, I have to apologize. I said Spain, before the start of the tournament, would make the quarterfinals. They would lose to Germany. And I knew it would be a close game, but then they lose. And the fact that Spain have not just gone to the semifinals, which obviously was possible, the fact they made it to the final is insane. And when we did our tier list discussion, it was actually with Seb Ball. And Seb Ball also probably needs to apologize too. But I, 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 I'll, he could decide if he wants to or not. But anyways, I'll do my part. We were doing the tier list, and we were saying to ourselves, because initially I wanted to put Spain as a contender, as, okay, they're, they're up there, but they're not outright favorites, right? But Seb Ball pointed to me, uh, they're like outsiders. And I was like, wow. But then I was actually looking back at Spain's recent form in tournaments. You know, World Cup round of 16. Uh, you know, 2014, another round of 16. Um, you know, 2014 group stage, last Euro semifinals in 2016, round of 16. So I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe Seb is right on this. I'll, so I agree with him reluctantly. But, you know, I, I went with it. Now, here they are. They made it to the semifinals of they made it to the final of the Euros. And they deservedly did so. And Spain proved that football has won today. Football won. Like, I am so happy Spain won. Because I said before the game, guys, if you guys saw my predictions video, I said Spain are the protagonists in this game. The the heroes won. The villains was France. France were the villains of this game, the antagonists. Because Spain were playing so beautiful football. And I have to give Spain a lot of credit here because they could have easily dropped their heads down. After France took the lead, after early goal there from Wani, and great, great goal there from Mwani, great header, and great assist there from Mbappe, and terrible defending there from Jesus Navas. But then Spain was like, you know what? We're not going to let that sting us. And Yamal was like, you know what? I'm going to do something out of nowhere, out of the script, and he scores a golazo. And I was unfortunately at work at the time because I couldn't react. I wish I could. Uh, because if I had, if I wasn't at work, I would have probably clipped the reaction and showed you guys on YouTube. But unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to do a crazy reaction because I was at work. But it was a crazy goal there from Yamal. Absolute insane goal there from y Lamine Yamal. 16 years old, scoring that. And I believe he's the youngest ever Euros ever goal scorer in history. So shout out to Yamal. And then Danny Olmo, man. Great goal there. Great assist there from Morata to uh, Danny Olmo. And it's a great finish. It's a great finish, man. Great finish. Uh, to make it 2-1. And then in the second half, France really did kick things up. You know, I would say Spain were a bit, a bit passive. But at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't matter about how you win. It's just about winning, right? And France were terrible in the second half. You know, Mbappe had a stinker, guys. Mbappe had a stinker. Even against Jesus Navas. That is, I believe, 39 years old? 39 years old. 38, sorry. 38 is insane. Insane. Mbappe had a disaster class. France were really poor in this game. Rabiot was particularly terrible. Dembele was ineffective. I'm sorry. This is why I don't rate Dembele that highly. I don't. Conte was actually not that great. I thought this was probably one of his worst games. And by the way, guys, crazy stuff for you guys. This is the first time France lost a game with Conte on the pitch. Crazy stuff for you. Kunde was obviously not that great. Um, and yeah, I just think for a Spain man in particular, they just they 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 did amazing. Shout out to Luis de la Fuente. And for Spain, man. They won six games in a row. They could do number four on Sunday, guys. Number four on Sunday, guys. They'll be playing the winner of England and Netherlands. And whichever team they play against England and Netherlands, they'll be the favorites. They'll be the favorites. And for Spain, man, beautiful football. Amazing football. I also want to give a shout-out to Rodri. I thought Rodri was fantastic. I thought Williams was also great as well. Cucurella also had a good game, despite the lot of boos that happened to him. And, yeah, I just saw Spain were Cruise control. No, not cruise control, but Spain played really well. And I think they deserved to win. And as for France, Didier Deschamps, man, he ha he, should he get sacked? I think it's a bit harsh, but maybe you can make an argument. And also, one last thing before I head off. This is the first time France has lost in 90 minutes in a game since Germany did in 2014. World Cup quarterfinals. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.